Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's talk about tightening up your edits with the extract command. Sometimes the littlest thing can really help speed up your editing. And the extract command was that for me. I have to admit, I wasn't using that for the longest time. A lot of people will, will do a manual operation. I'll show you that. There's a better operation, but then the extract command is the best. I use this all the time for my show and I tighten it up because what I, what I mean by tighten it up is you remove the empty space, unneeded space and pick things up. For instance, when I'm going from my on camera shot to cutting to the screen, sometimes I'll cut out five frames and you might think, Five frames? Yes, you do that over and over again. Five, 10 frames or a second out here or there. It tightens everything up and it flows so much better. And it's so easy to do. The first thing I will always do though, is I will always duplicate my current sequence. So anytime I'm gonna do some big destructive editing, uh, start with a new sequence. And I've got a great tutorial here on creating new sequences. All right, so let's go look at the manual way of doing this, the better way of doing this and the best way. So let's listen to this edit here. We've got an interview with several people and there's a space at the end of this clip and a space before this clip. It's our last chance and we have to act now. We have one chance at this. So you hear there's, there's this empty space and it's not needed. Here's what most people will do is they'll trim this clip, they'll trim that clip, zoom all the way out, select everything, zoom all the way back in, and then move those clips over. It works, but that's a heck of a lot of work. So let me undo that again, and I'll show you a better way to do this, still not the best way, is to trim this clip, and of course you'd listen to them, trim the clip, and if you get the track select forward tool, hold the shift key down, select forward, and now get the move tool, and move that back. The track select forward selects everything from that point on, shift selects only that track, the default selects everything. That's still not the best way. So let me undo all of that. Let's go back to what we have uh, now. We okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna to listen to this point. We have to act now. Boom, hit the space bar, hit the I key for an in point. And you can see it adds an in point here that continues all the way to the end. I'll hit play and stop where I want to cut. We have Obviously I missed that. So I wasn't ready for him to start talking. So I'm gonna use the arrow key and back up. Left arrow key. Forward, back. Hit the O key. So now I've marked an in and out point. This command right here, the extract command, and that's the keyboard shortcut for it, which is right beside the enter or the return key on an American keyboard. Watch what happens when I tap that. Boom, it chops that out. Let's listen to the edit now. This is our last chance, and we have to act now. We have one chance at this. <laughs> if you're a seasoned editor, you're probably looking at this and saying, so what? But hey, there's tons of people that didn't come from an editing background. This thing makes all the difference in the world. Let me show you a few more. Okay, let's listen to this little thing. Argument that this is just simply a very bad idea. Idea. I. And, and, o. Extract. Play. And, and if reason alone carries the day, we will carry the day. I. The quarry. O. Extract. We have up, up. I'm hitting the up, up arrow, which jumps back between the edits so I can audition these. I'll listen to them now. And, and if reason alone carries the day, we will carry the day. We have. It's working perfect. Around the world. Oh, there was a little space there. Around the world. I. We have. We oh. So you can see, let me just zoom in and show you. I'm cutting all of that off, all of that point here, here. I don't care where the, where the clips begin and end. I'm cutting out and extracting that whole area. Again, boom, extract that out. Now, 
One thing that I have been doing that I should have, and I left it this way on purpose is, you'll notice that in cutting this, I've been cutting my adjustment layer and I've been cutting all the music too. So before you do this, you should protect this. So I'm gonna fix this adjustment layer by throwing that away and just dragging this out. This is a Lumetri effect that I have to give this a stylized black and white edit. Look, so if I lock this when I'm doing the extract command and same thing with the music, lock that before jumping in here and using the extract command. So there you go, the extract command makes all the difference in the world. I, O, extract, I, O, extract. And right now I'm just doing this on a back-to-back -back edit, but if you had an incredibly complex edit with 50 layers, I, O, extract, boom, everything just goes out. Man, oh man, this makes all the difference. I use this too for my show when I'm tightening things up uh, between me talking on screen and going to the, to the uh, recording. It just works perfectly, amazing. I love this, extract command. You seasoned editors, you're probably, again, like wondering, really? And But if you're a new editor, you're going to love this. All right, if you're new to Video Reveal and you like tips like this, take a moment and subscribe. If you want to support us more, you can do that through PayPal as a monthly or one-time supporter. There's a link in the channel on the front and also in the description. We love our PayPal supporters. Thank you so much for all of our support. Okay, till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking at